Welcome back to The Modern Ham, where we are connected in new old ways. Have you ever wanted to send a SSTV message from a Quan Sheng without any digital interface? Never thought of it myself, but that's what we're going to do in this video, so stay tuned to find out how. I'm not one to push a bunch of Quan Sheng mods on my channel, especially since most of the content around them are illegal. But when I see a really cool mod that I think other people might enjoy tweaking around with or hacking around with, I like to share it. And in today's video, we're going to check out a mod that lets you send SSTV transmissions straight from the Quan Sheng UVK5. No digital interface, no computers involved, well, besides the receiving end to decode it, but all the encoding is done on the radio itself. So if you guys want to see a quick demo of what that looks like, here it is. What you're seeing here is a Quan Sheng with a firmware to transmit an SSTV message inside of it, transmitting an SSTV message. Again, I want to emphasize this message is only being sent from this Quan Sheng. There is no interface to it. There is none of that. The call sign, the grid, everything was programmed in here. If you guys want to know more, stay tuned. Now let's talk a little bit about how we're going to make that happen. So all you need is a programming cable, and this can be a programming cable that came with your Baofeng or with a Quan Sheng. Either one will work. And you need a computer to program the software. So there's two different software programmers. There's, a, there's one that you download, you install on your computer and use, and there's one that you can use to the browser. Uh, today's video, we're going to use the one in the browser because the last Quan Sheng video we did last week, we used the software. First, I want to give a shout out, as I always do, to these mod creators. KD8CEC uh, looks to be the creator of this neat little SSTV mod, and there's also a CW mod in there that we're going to check out here in the future. With that out of the way, I want to go ahead and let's move over to the computer and figure out where to download this software, get it on the device, and see how to use it. This mod is brought to you by a KD8CEC. It appears that he has now took the um, EG Zoomer uh, software and incorporated it into uh, the mod that he's put in. So if you want all the features from that firmware, you can still have that as well as the SSTV mode. So the first thing we're going to do is just go ahead and grab the firmware. And uh, I'm going to link to this GitHub repository. So you, it's going to take you to this page. And right over here on the right, you'll see releases. And the reason I do that is so that you get the latest release no matter when you see this video. So you'll pull up this releases page. And under the asset, you're going to see a CEC 0.1p.pack.bin. That's going to be our firmware file. Now, I'm going to hope that this probably isn't your first time downloading a firmware on the Quan Sheng, uh, just because there's been so many hacks around. But I'm going to show you what I use to usually do it. Uh, there is another link I'm going to provide. And this is the EG Zoomer flash tool uh, that you can use from your browser. And if you don't want to use this, you can also use Quan Sheng's tool. Uh, it is called, let's see, a portable radio updater. So the link below, there will be a link for the portable radio updater below if you would like to use that instead of the browser. So once you're here on the browser, the next thing you want to do is make sure you connect your programming cable. So your programming cable just has to go into your Quan Sheng to your computer. If you've never put your Quan Sheng into a firmware flash mode, you need to turn it off, hold in the push to talk, and then turn it on. Now if you've done this correctly, the screen won't come on, but a flashlight will. So I'm going to go ahead and take this Quan Sheng, and I'm going to throw it over on the laptop really quick that you see on the screen, and uh, we'll get started. Uh, my radio is over here, and my computer's here. So now I'm going to go ahead, and I'm going to refresh the page just in case. That way it detects the programming cable. And I'm going to hit Browse, and this is where you want to browse to that downloaded bin file we just downloaded. So once you have it, we're going to go ahead and hit Flash Firmware. It's going to ask you to select a serial device. Make sure you select the COM port for the programming cable you just plugged in. And you should see the radio start to flash, the flashlight on the top. I don't know if you can see in the video, but it's back here flashing. And obviously, we have a percentage here on the firmware. So this will just take a few moments uh, to get flashed over. And once it reaches 100, you know it done correctly because you'll see CEC firmware on power on on your radio. So, the radio is now flashed and it's ready to program with some basic settings for SSTV. Um, it's that easy. 
So I'm going to go ahead and move a camera over so you guys can see what we need to put in here to get this thing ready to start transmitting SSTV messages. All right, so once you get the firmware on there, we're going to go ahead and open up the menu button. And the first thing you want to do is just make sure on menu 24, we're going to set this to FM for the demodulation because you can also do CW in this, which we'll probably get into in a later video. So we're going to go ahead and we are going to go to menu number two. Now mine says 2.66, not sure what's going on there. Uh, once you hit that, you're going to hit the, um, the M button again and it opens up the menu. From here you can scroll up and down with the up and down keys to start changing different settings. And for the bare minimum, here we want to make sure that we put in probably our name and our call sign and maybe our grid. So I'm going to hit menu here and to put in our name, all you have to do is just hold in the up or down button until you get, or a call sign, until you get the letter you want. So in this case, I'm just going to put my call sign really quick. So I'm going to do K, and then I'm going to hit the menu button once I get the right letter. And it's going to shift over. And then I'm going to do N. Okay, come on now. B. Now for the rest of it, I'm just going to hit the M button just to kind of zero it all out. And for the next option, I'm going to hit the up button. Oh, sorry. We need to go into the menu first. So menu, and then on U info, I'm going to scroll up. And just for this right here, this purpose, I'm going to go ahead and just put in, I'll put in Bill. My name's Billy, if you don't know that. Now, you know what? We might as well go ahead and put the full thing, right? It's not that big of a deal. So I'm going to hit menu again until the very end. Then I'm going to hit menu to go into the menu. And I'm going to go up. And I'll put my short grid, which is going to be E, M. I'm going to go ahead and do all that. Let's see what else we might need to change in here. Oh yeah, you might want to put in a special message on your CQ. And to do that, you'll do SSTV M1. You'll hit the menu button. And uh, for this purpose, I'm just going to put high, uh, probably high YouTube. E, e high YouTube. Great. Now, uh, really all you need to do is hit exit. Make sure you're on a, um, make sure you're on a license frequency and then you'll hit the menu button again. And when you're ready to transmit your message, and this is going to be in Martin one for the receiver, you're going to go over to the M, uh, transmission M SSTV. You're going to hit menu to go into it. Now you have the option of either CQ or you can hit up QSO. If you have a uh, a receiver's call sign in the U info, you can put that in and you know complete the QSO by putting their call sign. LCD, this will actually transmit your current LCD screen of your Quan Shang 10 seconds after you press the button. So you can hit trans you can hit the menu button here and it'll transmit it and then uh, 10 seconds later it'll take a snapshot of whatever you're on. So you can transmit that too if you'd like. But for this purpose we're just going to do CQ. So to transmit the message you'll hit the CQ, you'll hit menu and you'll notice that the red transmission light comes on and now we're transmitting a CQ. Just to show you guys a demo of what it's gonna look like after you get it finished, I'm gonna take my phone, which has a Martin 1 decoder on it, and then I'm gonna take the Quan Sheng that we just modded, and this, uh, I'm gonna go ahead, and after putting the settings in that you guys saw, um, we're gonna go ahead and uh, do the transmission on SSTV. So, menu, and once uh, everything's in menu two, we're gonna go to menu three, and you have the option to CQ, QSO, or LCD, but we're gonna do CQ. So as soon as I hit the M button, this is gonna start the transmission, and uh, this radio is gonna start receiving, and it's gonna play audio out loud, and my phone's gonna hear it. So that's, that's basically it. Everything came from the Quan Sheng. It did all the encoding, and I just held my phone's microphone to the other radio to decode it. So, very cool little project. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, again, I don't like to do a whole lot of Quan Sheng content on this channel, but if I see something interesting, I like to show you guys how to set it up and make it known that it's out there. And I like to give a shout out to people who are uh, 
creating these projects and putting their personal time and investments into uh, seeing experimental stuff come to fruition because we don't even have this stuff in the top radios right now. And I always bring up my Yaesu. My Yaesu is $350, the FT3D. This is $20, and right now it's doing SSTV transmissions, encoding from it. So this is just shows you the power of what can happen if you, outsource, uh, if you open source a radio or allow it to be hacked to the open source community, and they're able to modify it and do th really cool things with it. I think collectively we can create a lot of cool functions, a lot of cool projects, and uh, it's a shame that we can do this from this $20 radio and not some of the ones that we're paying, well, soon to be what, seven or eight hundred dollars for the new Kenwood coming out in a month or two? That's quite a chunk of money. So, anyways, just wanted to share that with you guys. I thought it was really cool. And as a little sneak peek, if you stick around this long, this radio also does CW with this new firmware. And maybe a video tomorrow, maybe the next day, we're gonna get into CW on this firmware to see how you can use this as both a practice keyer to learn Morse code and also transmit it. So I just want to say thanks guys for watching. And uh, I'll see you next time. 73 to you.